Hello and welcome to another episode of Foss Cooking, or should I say Foss Baking, because that's what we're doing in this video today. We are going to be baking banana bread, and to make this you're going to of course need bananas. So you're going to want ideally three or four very overripe bananas. Uh, here I've got obviously one banana that is not very overripe. I got this from the fresher bunch because the old bunch only had three left, but these three guys, they are very, very overripe. Their peels were like entirely brown. Uh, so I think that this will be okay. Ideally, you want to get three or four overripe bananas that are, I'd say, mostly brown with yellow spots. You're going to also want a stick of softened butter, unsalted butter. So as you can see, this one has a little bit of squish to it, so it's going to be easier uh, to mix in with everything else. You're going to want two eggs, and optionally, you can add some walnuts to it. You're going to also need uh, either some brown sugar or you could use white sugar, but I prefer the brown sugar in my banana bread. Some cinnamon, some vanilla extract, and of course you're going to need a loaf pan to bake it in. You're also going to need a little bit of salt and a little bit of baking soda. Okay, so to start, we're going to add our bananas into our mixing pan. Uh, so these three, of course, they're falling apart very easily. This one, I'm going to actually chop it up first to make it a little bit easier to mash. You can see this one, it's, it's still got a little bit of structure to it, you know? It doesn't just completely fall apart like the other ones did. That's okay, we're still gonna be able to mash it. wind up with a sort of banana paste, kind of like that. Next, I'm going to add half of a cup of my brown sugar. Now, personally, I don't like my banana bread to be very, very sweet, so that's why I'm only going to do half a cup. Uh, you could, of course, add more if you like it to be really sweet, or if you like it even less sweet than me, you can add even less. And like I said earlier, you can use white sugar if you prefer that instead. Okay, we're going to also add two large eggs. And we're going to add our half of a cup of butter and conveniently, one stick of butter is equal to half a cup. And you want it to be a little bit warmed up, you know, you want it to be a little, little bit melted on the outside so it's easier to mix in. Probably should have let my butter warm up a bit more, but it's okay. I can just keep 
mashing it until eventually it mixes in sufficiently with the rest of this mixture here. Next, we're going to add two cups of flour. We'll add in a couple dashes of some cinnamon, add in a little bit of vanilla extract, next we're going to add in a teaspoon of baking soda. quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And finally, we'll add in some crushed nuts. You can put any kind of nuts you want, really. Obviously, if it's a harder nut than this, you might not be able to crush it by hand. it up. This mixture should start getting thick. Thank you. 
We're just going to flatten it out a little bit. It's all right that it doesn't come to the top because it's going to rise as it bakes. All right, now we're going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about one hour. All right, and here is the banana bread fresh out of the oven, so it is still pretty warm. I'm just going to try and turn it over so that I can get the banana bread out there easier. We don't want it to get stuck inside of the loaf pan. It's a little bit crispier around the edges, really soft on the inside. Try dipping it in some milk. I bet this is going to be really good. This is one of the edge pieces, extra crispy, dipped in some milk. Mm. Definitely, definitely get your banana bread with milk. I recommend it.
Try the recipe out for yourself. Let me know how it comes out. Peace.